I think the biggest challenge to making the second season happen was the logistics of the actual shoot. Episode one has our first fight ever in Walking in Circles. The day before the big fight, when Eric has to jump off of a nice eight foot drop, he slices his toe. It's the first time we're like, okay, Eric, you're gonna collapse. And Eric goes for it. Eric commits and makes a strong choice to totally lose control. He ends up somehow getting a rock shoved into his toe. And I mean, it slices his toe basically in half. And he knew that I was like, hey, Eric, can you still do the jump? Even though your toe is in two pieces? Let's just get out there and finish this. After Eric does the jump, I want to say five or six times, we, we get back after lunch and we have to tell Eric that the footage we have looked at is blurry and we need to shoot it again. In the original incarnation of Walking in Circles season two, Garen was alive. Garen was alive and well. And now it's time once again for Garen The problem was that Jonah Brio lives in Texas. We had to replace the character. And the decision to actually make him dead was a tough one. Garen is dead! We didn't want there to be that lingering doubt. We didn't want there to be any, you know, oh, is Garen gonna come back? You killed him! Oh, no, no, the, the tree killed him. It sucks, Garen's not there, but it's cool, because we got Squire Quigley. Squire Quigley gets hooked up with the group just by being caught, and then, you know, Marcus is caught too. Then when the rest of the group comes to, to save Marcus, Squire Quigley just jumps in. Here's a guy who's been an outcast his entire life. He sees a group of outcasts that have somehow just merged together and become some entity that walks in the wilderness and destroys things. He's like, yeah, I'm a part of that. So the day we had Jolene on set, uh, we only had her for half a day due to how long it took to get her painted and ready. Yeah, the day of shooting was Interesting. It was a little bit cold for a half-naked girl. The makeup for Drian was a whole body commitment. The makeup artist, Despina, and I got up at 4 a.m. the day we were shooting, and it was kind of a six-hour deal. Miko, the wardrobe designer, had done the leaf bikini, which had to be re-glued and reapplied between each of the takes. There were bits of moss and leaves that had to be latexed on. There were pointy ears and contacts, which were interesting because I had never done that before. Cut to the afternoon, uh, Jolene steps onto set and as if on cue, a giant fog bank rolls into set and just lingers. Cut, Jolene goes back to get all unmakeup and head back down the mountain. Not moments after she gets in the car, this fog bank rolls out of the way and uh, we have gorgeous after lighting. The ultimate reason that I wrote season one and season two, I just wanted to tell this story because I'm still awed by it and I get excited about it and to know that other people get excited about it and other people want to see it and they want to know what's what, what happens to Craig, what happened to Marcus. That's why I do it. I just want to share that story with other people and to, to share that excitement that I have about the story with other people. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Walking in Circles. I hope that it's unnecessary to say this, but don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button. It's so awesome that I can't even speak words coming out of my mouth. That's how awesome it is. So hit that button there. And of course, if you want to check out cool behind the scenes stuff, hit any one of these buttons here. And if you want to check out season one, hit that button there. If you want to check out the rest of season two, hit this button right here. And of course, don't forget to download the Prime TV app because that helps support us. And you can always check out our website right over here and you can see really cool photos, videos, bios of all your favorite characters at Walking in Circles. So I hope you've hit that subscribe button because repetition is the key. I keep saying subscribe, you'll just be like, what? And click that mouse, subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe and see more of me, if anything, or more Angie, or more woodland stuff. Yeah, like this bear. There are no bears in Walking in Circles, but you know what? If you hit subscribe and download the Prime TV app, there might be bears in the future. It's how you can support us, and that's your impact on life. My life. And your subscribe.